This is a fifth flip class video number three of Chemical Engineering Thermodynamics 2. And the content would be in the textbook written by Smith, uh, Vanus, and Abbott in chapter 11.6. And before you study this, you, you should uh, understand the definition of fugacity for the pure component first. And for today, we will talk about fugacity in the mixture. And just a brief review for pure species, if it is ideal gas, according to the derivation in flip class video number two, we got the relationship between um, give free energy with respect to pressure, according to this equation. And then we define, later on we define that for gas, which is not ideal, we can still calculate the partial molar give free energy of that gas. But in order to do so, the pressure is no longer pressure. We need to change the pressure term to fugacity. All right. And in this equation, in this equation, the gamma, gamma here is a constant. Is it is the integration constant obtained at one particular con at one particular temperature. The temperature here is supposed to be constant for one component. So we are going to do something similar for species I in ideal gas mixture. So if we change from pure species to mixture, then according to the flip class video number two, we got partial molar give free energy, like so. The form of the equation is very similar to the one for pure component, except that right now in the mixture, we represent the properties as a partial molar properties. We have bar here, and on the right-hand side, instead of getting total pressure, the pressure will be changed to partial pressure. Yi times P here is partial pressure. The rest of the form of the equation remains the same. And we have to define something similar, but this, this one is for mixture. Definition would be something like this. The partial molecule free energy of the mixture that is not ideal gas can be calculated in the same form, only we change the partial pressure into fugacity. Now, please note that right now, fugacity has a cap on, on the top. The cap here represent, represent that right now, species I is not pure. It is a part of the mixture. And this is not the same as partial molar properties in the sense that the F cap is not defined as partial molar properties at all. And so this one does not, this relationship does not exist. And this cap here, just a symbol to say that right now the, our system is a mixture. And then the, the ones we define fugacity for the mixture, then this is very similar to fugacity or the pure component in the sense that the, from definition, fugacity is defined based on gas but utilization can be applied to any form, including phase equilibrium. Here, we discuss the criteria for equilibrium, that if, for instance, if you have a system containing two phases, alpha phase and beta phase, these two are in equilibrium, and therefore temperature and pressure of these two phases are the same. And Earlier, we defined that the condition for equilibrium would be something like this. Chemical potential of species I in both phases supposed to be the same. So you can calculate chemical potential for all species. For these two phases, they're supposed to be the same. But chemical potential for species I and species J are not the same. Then, in the definition that we just derived, the chemical potential here for any particular gas or liquid can be represented by this equation. So we, we can put that equation 
in place of chemical potential over here. And you can get the second equation here. Note that right now the gamma, gamma i here and gamma i on the, on the right hand side, they are a function of temperature. And right now the system are in the same temperature for both phases. So these two gamma are essentially the same and can, can be dropped from the equation. R are constants. So we can drop R as well. And temperature here will be dropped as well. So as a result, you get that capacity of species I in phase alpha supposed to be equal to capacity of same species in phase beta. But at this moment, our system contains more than one species. So we put cap here just to represent that the system is not a pure component. It is a mixture. So this one is a criteria for phase equilibrium, which is um, a bit better than using chemical potential. And we reduce our system from mixture to pure component. Fugacity will be reduced from fugacity and mixture into the fugacity of pure species, which is already derived in class. Now, use the this definition and write it down for ideal gas. Let, let me put IG here, subscript IG, just to say that this equation is written for ideal gas mixture. And then I'm going to write another equation for real gas mixture in the same manner, but without the, the superscript IG over here. So the formal equation are the same this one, we write it down for ideal gas. This one, we write it down for real gas. Where right now for real gas, gas here is no longer equal to partial pressure. If I set the equation to be equation one for real, for ideal gas and equation two for real gas. And I take equation two subtracted by equation one on the left hand side, we are going to have difference in partial molar give free energy and on the right hand side gamma here will be cancelled out what we have left will be rt times ln of the ratio here this variable is partial molar give free energy of real gas mixture and this one is partial molar give free energy of ideal gas mixture of i in of species i in ideal gas mixture so these two represent partial molar give free energy of the same species, but in different situation. One is in real gas mixture, the other one is in ideal gas mixture. And we have learned from the class that any properties that you have real gas properties subtracted by ideal gas properties, it is called residue properties. So this one becomes res residue properties of partial molar uh, give free energy of species I in the mixture. On the right hand side, this ratio is now defined and is called as the coefficient of species I in the solution. It's a ratio of gas in the mixture of real speed of real gas divided by the partial pressure. And we use the phi, put a cap on top just to say that right now our system is a mixture. So we get this equation, this relationship. If you go back to this one, you see that the ratio here, the, the fugacity coefficient of species I in solution would become one if your mixture is ideal gas. And if it is one, then the fugacity itself would equal to part, uh, partial pressure. Then we are going to find relationship between fugacity coefficient with respect to residual properties. Let's start with the term Ng over Rt. And if I consider Ng over Rt to be the product of Ng multiplied by 1 over Rt, and I'm going to differentiate it, I can split them into two terms like so. I consider a system that has the constant number of mole. 
then from the class video one we already defined this equation and we are going to take this part and plug it in here so that we can get this equation note that the uh, ng is expanded to blue, ter blue terms black term remains the same and then free energy here which is the free, more like the free energy of the mixture can be written according to definition of the free energy to be uh, enthalpy subtracted by temperature multiplied by entropy of that uh, properties of the mixture or molar properties of the mixture and if I take n over rt square into the right hand side this temperature would cancel one temperature here and what we have left would be ns over rt which is the same as here so these two terms this term and that term would cancel out on the other hand the chemical potential here is essentially partial molecular free energy so we are to put g bar in, in place of chemical potential and then rewrite equation like so now if I write this equation so far we derived this equation according to calculus only so this equation is applicable to all kinds of scenario if I write this equation for ideal gas just to make clear so I'm going to put IG superscript for all terms just to say that this equation is written for ideal gas mixture and then this equation can be applied for real gas mixture take the first equation subtracted by the second equation what we have the difference between real gas properties subtracted by ideal gas properties is called residual properties so taking these two equation I'm going to get residual properties for all terms and starting with residual properties molecular free energy until you get residual properties of partial molar Gibbs free energy and earlier we just defined that partial molar Gibbs free energy residual partial molar Gibbs free energy can be correlated with respect to gas E coefficient like that so if I give, if we take RT to the left hand side this term in the box is basically logarithm of as the coefficient now considering this equation we are going to split into special circumstances the first one is for constant temperature and constant number of mold or speci so I'm going to highlight the green one will be considered constant so it will be dropped there's zero because it is they're constant then we have differentiation on the left hand side and DP on the right hand side if I take DP to the left hand side as the denominator I'm going to get this equation so n here can be dropped out so we can get this term would equal to the partial differentiation on the right hand side taking the temperature and the number of mole to be constant keep in mind that if number of mole of each species is constant the composition or mole fraction is supposed to be constant as well so I can put X in place of N over here on the other hand if I take the situation where pressure is constant and uh, mole, 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 number of mole of each species is constant then dp here becomes zero dn is zero I can take dp to the left hand side and end up with this equation and if I take one of temperature on the left into the right I can get the equation like that so this equation is just the same as what we derived so far for your component the only difference is that right now it is residual properties from the same equation now if I consider when the system is constant in temperature and pressure now dp is 0 dp is 0 dn is not 0 I can take dn to the left hand side and then on the right hand side I get logarithm of gas coefficient note that here even though we have 
sigma sign. But right now, if I consider number of mole of other species rather than species I to be constant, then the differentiation of any other species will become zero except for species I. So then we can drop the sigma sign and have this formal equation only. And if you notice the form of the equation on the right hand side, this is partial differentiation of some properties with respect to number of moles of species I when we have constant temperature, pressure, and number of moles of other species. This form of equation is the same as partial properties. So we can say that logarithm of the Fugazi coefficient is considered as one kind of partial properties. And inside the term on the right hand side, the ratio between GR over RT can be converted in, 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 into compressibility factor Z by the relati relationship like this. All right. Reminder that this equation is written as constant temperature. So if I multiply this equation by number of moles, total number of moles of species in the mixture, so that I can get this term on the right hand side, just multiply everything by n. Take n into the integration here, we get nz minus n. Now, if I consider when the total mole of the species n here is constant. I can take this one inside. And then plug this equation into the right-hand side of the first equation on the top. And then just alternate the sequence. Differentiation of integration just is, is equal to integration of the differentiation as long as the number of moles is constant. So you can get this equation from, from just plugging this part into the top portion of the equation. Now if we consider for earlier, the, this, this equation is similar to the form of equation we found earlier for pure species i. This is one is for pure species logarithm of Fugazi coefficient of i in pure species can be written in form of compressibility factor like so. But in the mixture, for species i in the mixture, the equation is slightly different. On the right hand side, if you consider this term, this is partial molar, a uh, partial differentiation of one, uh, one properties with respect to number of mole at constant temperature, pressure, and number of moles of other species. So this parenthesis is essentially partial molar properties. We call, we are all this part to be the bar, which is called partial molar uh, compressibility factors. So essentially these two equations are very similar. The form is similar. The only difference is that there, this equation is written for the mixture so that we put mixture sign on top of Fugazi coefficient and then the compressibility factor turns to be partial molar compressibility factor.